Hello guys, today's video is for the Helltooth Gargantuan build for patch 2.42 and uh, this is extremely good for us Witch Doctors. It hits really, really hard. I've never seen a Witch Doctor build do so much damage before. I'm talking 1.2 trillion hits on the Rift Guardian guys. It's absolutely nuts. I've already done Without that much fishing, uh, 90 already. I'm ranked 12 at the moment, the PTR. I've already done a 90 with not even that much fishing. You know what I mean? Just mucking around, really, so... You know, that's pretty fucking cool. Um, it's extremely good. Why is it so good? Because we're now using the Ring of Enters. Furnace is out. Okay, Furnace is out. We're now using, aka ROE, of the Ring of Enters. You deal 300% increased damage to enemies affected by both your Haunt and Locust Swamp. Alright? So that's why we've got Wormwood hitting the cube now. And that's why you can see this aura pulse here. Because uh, the damage, guys, is nuts. It's absolutely incredible. I can't wait to show you in action, man. But first of all, first, let's um, go through uh, all the stuff, man. Right, guys, so we're using Haunt Poison Spirit for an extra 20% damage. This will proc the two part bonus for the Ring of Entrance ROE. And uh, of course, when a mob dies or haunt on it, it will jump to the next target as well. So it refreshes the, the damage as well, which is awesome. Fantastic. Uh, of course, we're using Hell Tube once again, guys. A six piece Hell Tube bonus propped by Ward of Death Communion with Spirits. Everything hit by this on the outside ring will be debuffed damage by 25% for three seconds. Of course, guys, Gargantuan Homogoid, man, by far the best rune. None of the other runes, come in, runes even come even close. Not even close. And of course, it does 585 cold damage. It just cleaves all the time. So it's doing AoE all the time. It just does great damage. It's the best rune. It's fantastic. Uh, we, guys, we're using Soul Harvest Language as usual, well, for the armor buff, because we're using Sacred Harvest Ceremonial Knife. This gives an extra 100% armor and a giant damage boost as well. Lovely. Uh, Spirit War Jaunt, just for 3 seconds of immunity. You can opt for Severance as well if you want. The rest of these ones are not really worth using. Severance just gives you great, great movement speed. Jaunt gives you an extra 1 second. Personally, I prefer Jaunt these days. Uh, we use the Summer Zombie Dogs Leeching Beast, not for damage, but for healing. If you've got life per hit on any part of your gear, I normally do it on my Bracer, uh, you get amazing healing from Leeching Beast, and it just makes your build tanky as hell, to be honest. It's great. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Uh, guys, one thing that is changed in this build, there is no Prana Nado. What I've done personally, I put a Johan on my follower to help with grouping a little bit. But if you really do want, if you really, really do want in, in this build, what you can do is you can put a Ho Henry's Mojo instead of the Serpent. And then just change the dogs to Prana Nado. So you can just do it that way if you want. Okay, you can do it that way. But personally, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try to do it without it, because I really do love the tankiness from Legion Beast. I just absolutely love it. It's so, so good. It's brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Okay, so, uh, yeah, so uh, passive skies, uh, Midnight Feast, 50% extra damage to our gargantuans and dogs as well. And it gives an additional dog as well. So we've got four dogs healing us all the time. It's great. Uh, Spirit Vessel for self res. If you're playing in group play, you can opt this for bad moments for, for a debuff from Wormwood from all the time, which is kind of cool. Uh, Compass Ritual, guys. You want to use Compass Ritual now? Most of the time on the old meta uh, solo build, it was uh, Pierce the Veil. Because um, we didn't have no mana spenders, but we do have a mana spender now. We've got uh, Haunt as our mana spender. So we use Compass Ritual. It doesn't take the extra 30% you know, buff, uh, sorry, extra mana from Pierce the Veil. Pierce the Veil is nice for great, great range, but Compass Ritual is better. Because it's got to be close anyway for Wormwood to proc this bonus anyway. And also, Compass Ritual is a multi buff where Pierce the Veil is only an additive, so you actually get more damage out of this anyway. And of course, guys, Grave Injustice, man. Grave Injustice will cooldown reduction. Every time you kill a mob, and you get 1% of your life and mana back within 20 yards. Lovely, 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 lovely. Right, so uh, let's go over the gears. Uh, guys, with all the gear stats, please refer to the Diablo Fans Guide link in the building description of this video. And all, this, all the optimal stats you need are there, okay? But I'm just going to do a quick summary of the gear. Right, of course, we're using Sacred Harvester for the uh, for the Soul Harvest snacks. It gives us enormous damage reduction with this and the Bracer, and of course, uh, the Languish Rune as well. It gives us tons and tons and tons. Um, of course, we're using Short Man's Finger for the, the giant uh, Gargantuans. Each one of these Gargs hits, you know, the Sums Free buff, basically. It's, it's huge. And of course, guys, you want to use Bane of the Traps. Bane of the Trap will be propped from Haunt and, of course, Ward of Death. And also from the suit bonus on the four piece as well. So any in once any of the guards or dogs hit a target, they're applying necrosis, which slows, and of course will proc bane and trapped. Fantastic. Lovely. Okay, so um uh, of course you want to use Bane the Stricken for Rift Guardian kills. What's really nice with Stricken in this build now is because we've got Haunt, we can stack Stricken really, really fast. Like really, really fast. It's really, really cool. So um even with, it, remember, it doesn't just work on the Rift Guardian, you know. 
the, the stack in element. It works on any target. So what I tend to do, if I see a yellow pack, I single him out, cast my guards on top of his head, and I just spam Haunt like crazy on top of that yellow pack, and the stack, the stack, the stack and stacks just go up and up and up and up, and you get see some really big numbers, man. It's really, really cool. It's excellent. So, but yeah, Stricken, man, of course. And last gym, guys, of course, will be uh, Enforcer, which is now a multi-buff, and makes your pets so they don't bloody die anymore. It's been such a great change from last patch. It gives you tons of pet damage. Oh, lovely, lovely, lovely. Right, so, uh, yeah, of course, we use a six-piece health tooth, man. Uh, boots, legs, chest, shoulders, and gloves, and helm. There is no uh, taskers in this build, because uh, you can't fit it in. And because the reason is you can fit it in if you use a Hellfire and go the usual Hellfire route. But when you lose the Endless Walk set, which is basically Travelers and the Compass Rose, you actually lose damage. You actually lose damage. You're better off not using Taskers and wearing the Traveler's Pledge and the Compass Rose instead. And it makes your damage go through the roof. You will your pets will swing slower, but the damage is way, way higher. Way, way higher. So if you use it using Hellfire. And the usual setup is it's not gonna be as much damage. And at the end of the day, it's always a DPS race. And there you go. And of course, guys, watch you now, man. Every piece of this gear is kind of spared, by the way. As well. And of course, guys, using Cape and Serpent as well for an extra 30% damage reduction as well. So it's extremely tanky, man, once we uh, get on the get-go. Love it, love it. Right, so uh, cubed items, which I did show earlier, but I'll quickly show you again. It's uh, just one word, mask and germ, and the ring of emptiness. And there you go, man. There you go. Let's uh Let's do this, man. Let's do this. Let's show in action. I've already done a 90, but that took a little bit of fishing, so I'm just going to do, uh, let's do an 85 and show it in action, man. And there we go. Guys, watch this. Watch this, man. This is, now, per perfect mobs here. Here, right, spend a horn now. Watch, now, these big mobs here, oh my god, that's a 360 billion crits. 554 billion crits in pool of power. Holy shit. But remember, if they be quite close, because we've, we've got a concentration one, and you've got to have Horn. You've got to have Horn and uh, Local Swarm applied to your targets, get the massive damage. But already we've seen a half a trillion hit. I'm not going to hit that Conduit Shrine, because uh, I'm going to show you guys the proper damage of the build. But anyway, let's play like we would normally do. Let's uh, just push forward. Got oh, these guys are here. So let's just recast our pets here. Wall of Death. Tag everything with local swarm and horn and watch everything just die. Jesus Christ, even against trash. 300 billion. Bam! Holy fuck! Uh, I've never seen a Witch Doctor build do so much damage. It's insane. About fucking time as well. But Witch Doctor DPS has been low. You know, we've been in the bottom of the pile of DPS for a while. You know what I mean? For a while, so. We could just see it, look. 300. 300 fucking hell. It's insane. The thing is, though, the haunts are recycling. Every time the haunt dies, you can see them zapping out and trying to attach. But I'm just showing you some trash kills right now. But remember, this damage works against everything now. You know, normally on this build, you, 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 would, you would use a furnace. You would use a furnace, and it only, that damage only applied to elites. This damage applies to everything. To absolutely everything. It's nuts. You can see how tanker we are. Even though we're not using taskers anymore, you can see the swing swing of the pets is still absolutely fine. But it's all about those big hits now. Yeah, we've got a nice uh, cheeky elite pack here. So let me stand still. Watch, it. Watch how fast this elite dies. Look. Bam! Dead! <laughs> I know! It's fucking crazy! Finally! We've got some damage, guys! This feels like three times the damage, roughly, right now, than uh, on live servers, on 2.41. Well, there goes our Elite Pack. It's just refreshing that we can finally, you know, kill pretty much anything we want now. Pretty much anything we want. But yeah, I've done a GR Knight with this so far. But I already know it can go way, way higher. Some, some on the leaderboard who's got way more Paragon than me. It's already done GR97 with this, which is really, really nice for the next patch. Oh, look, Pool of Power, guys, so we get a giant buff from this now. You can, like, you can see those hits there? Pool of Power, man. Ah, oh, from Oculus Ring from the follower. And that gives us, like, crazy hits. Crazy, crazy hits. Bit of speed pile on there. That's a leap pack over here. 
So let's, let's push this to the leap out quickly. Right, well, I'm just spamming now. I'm just spamming on the on the uh, yellow pack. Oh my god! <laughs> oh my god, it's so fucking sick. Oh, pull the power again! Oh my god! Look at that! A trillion, a trillion to hit, a trash. We pull the power <laughs> for Rockless Ring, man. Oh my fucking god! <laughs> oh my god! This is so fucking cool. Bam! Man, we've seen some really big hits now, because this this yellow ring here is from the follower. It's actually from this ring here. 85% damage buff. When you just do that with all the other buffs we've got, you know, it's really, really nice. Look. Even, even before that, so pretty proud, man. At my current Paragon and gem levels, gem levels are 100, Paragon is 1. 1.6. My gear is very good. All my gear is can spare with at least gems of level 90. At least level 90. You know, our average hit. With all the gargs hitting one target now, is around about 300, about 300 uh, billion damage. Yeah, you know, that's that's nice. It's just really nice to finally see the Witch Doctor have some fucking damage. You know what I mean? Actually, have a build where it feels like you're a fucking absolute fucking beast. You know what I mean? But even these big guys, look, bam, 378 bill, bam. And the one, that, the reason why we're doing so much damage is because of the Endless Walk set. And of course the RRE ring as well. Because remember, Endless Walk set, when we stand still, we get 100% buff. And that buff is, mu is multiplicative. It's a multi-buff. And when we move, it gives us up to 50% damage reduction as well. So that's why this works so well. We don't have taskers anymore. But, you know, if you put taskers into the build and use a, a Hellfire Amulet, it's going to be less damage. I've already tested it extensively. It's less damage by far. Yes, your pets will swing slower in this build, but those hits count. You know, big time. You know, big time. Boom. <laughs> oh my god. Right, let's, uh, let's stop fucking around the trash and just push to elites now, because uh, the progress is slowing down quite a bit. There we go. So let's uh, cast the Gargs. Spirit Walk. And I'm just going to focus on this guy for a little bit. You see how tanky we are as well. Unfortunately, I'm on the PTI at the moment because uh, unfortunately the lag for me is pretty bad because I'm from the UK, so my ping is at the moment 200. Ugh. And there we go, he's down already. And that's a kite pack as well. Yeah, that's a kite pack. Lovely. Nice well, keep going. Let's just go to, to go to the least. But you know, if, if you come across a giant trash pack now, you know you can kill it. You know, fucking quick. You know, really, really quick. Let me stop killing trash, man. I'm in a bad mood, and bad habit doing that right now. But it's just so nice that we can use our damage bonus now versus everything, rather than just elites. You know what I mean? It's cool as hell. All right, recast the guards. Hopefully, we get a pool of power drop so we can see some really insane numbers. But to be honest, it doesn't really matter. We can kill ship super quick. They're down already. Holy shit! <laughs> also, guys, people be using this build in a four-man group, and they've already done GR 102. All they've done is just change the uh, the offhand to a uh, Oculus and put on Sacrifice Provoke the pack, so it looks like Witch Doctors might actually be damaged now, next patch. Looks like they might, we might actually be, be DPS for the first time in since, what, Season 1, Season 2, when we was, used to play Carnival back in the day. Christ. That's another build I'm currently working on, actually, ROE Carnival. I just need to level up another... Uh, Another fucking gem which I blew up before a fucking uh, a cannons, unfortunately. Alright, next map. Uh, let's go. You wait till we get to Rift Guardian, man. Wait till we get to the Rift Guardian. <laughs> Shit. Just like, what? Oh, it's pulled apart. Oh, I think it's my self raise. I got sloppy there. Boom. <laughs> Shit! Oh my god, I love this game, man. Oh, so nice. Fucking got killed, hit by Electrify there, wrecked me in a minute ago. Now oh, we've got some nice density here. Hopefully, there's a leap pack in this slot as well. Gargs are up. There is a leap pack, sweet. Right, make sure they're all tagged with Haunt. Stand still to proc the bonus. From endless walk set. Oh, there's a thing over there. 
Do I get it? I'm gonna point. I've got to be a little bit careful then. They're dead already. Shit. Another pool of power. Just haunt everything, guys. Just haunt them all. Haunt them, man. And make sure you're enraged for your uh, local storm to tag them as well. God, what the difference? A good set of mobs, mate. I tell you. Fuck it. Let's kill these guys off as well, man. Just, just because. You know what I mean? Just because. Ooh, it's nice, isn't it? Jesus. But, but so far, guys, you know, this is the highest hitting damage build I've ever seen on a Witch Doctor. It's, it, it, hits, it hits even harder than Jade. And Jade for 2.42 is pretty sweet as well. It's not, it's not as going to be as high damage as this. But Jade is looking pretty sweet. But I think this will be the meta build. Or a slight variant of this, man. It's probably going to be Henry's with... Uh, Henry's with uh, Nado, if I'm honest. But I really do love Legion Beast. I absolutely love Legion Beast at the healing, because it's just fucking awesome. Well, let me see if I can find a leap pack to finish up on. A yellow pack would do it. A oh, power pylon! Oh no! Shall I use it? Uh, I'll go on it, just, just for this trash pack. Just for this trash pack. There we go. I already saw a trillion hit already. If we get a pool of power now, we'll, we'll see over two trillion hits. Oh my god! <laughs> oh my god! Oh, so there is a leap pack here, shit. I didn't realize. Oh, there you go, they're asking you shall receive. Oh no, I died, fuck! I fucking died, got beamed, man. It's gonna happen, guys, it's gonna happen. There we go, we're all back up again. God, as long as gargs are up, that's the main thing. There we go, there we go, we're all back up again. Right, Rift Guardian, see it. Fucking got Ar Arcane Man, set them to it all. This is actually a really good boss for us because it's got uh, it's got fucking mobs. <laughs> it's just gonna cause area damage. Guys, what's the damage, man? At seven hundred billion already. Seven hundred billion already, man. Just spam haunt on that boss like a beast, and boom, dead already. It's crazy, man. <laughs> Holy shit! It's crazy! Already, straight away, we've got to 700 billion crits in a blink of an eye, man, on the build. That's absolutely fucking insane, man. Say, so, guys, what do you think? You know what I mean? So far, this is the hardest hitting build I've ever seen on a Witch Doctor. It's really, really nice, man. Really, really nice build. Really nice build, man. And there you go guys, that's the end of the vid man, hope you enjoyed it, I am super pumped man to play this new uh, Helltooth Garg ROE edition of this build, it's really, really nice man, it's really really nice, give it a go guys, and uh, yeah give it a go. So guys chat, yeah if you want to try this out, uh, just go to the Diablo's fans build guide in the description of this video, click on that link, and uh, build it up on PTR and try it out, because it's fucking awesome, it's really really sweet, it's really really good. And there you go guys, that's the end of the video. As you guys, please like and subscribe. If you've got any comments, stick them below. If you've got any ways to improve this build, I'm always open to comments and shit. Please post them into the description of this video. Guys, thanks very much, man. Have a great day. And I'll see you guys in Sanctuary. See you guys soon. Ah! Holy shit!